Today, I'm gonna be fixing all of Peachy Baby's weirdest graveyard slimes. You guys have seen me fix graveyard slimes many times before, but today I'm specifically going to pick out all of the weirdest ones I can find and fixing them. So we're starting off very strong here. The backstory of this one, I'm pretty sure, is that it's supposed to look like pizza. This looks nothing like pizza. There's a little bit of what looks like mustard in the corner. This looks like jelly slime, and then cloud slime, memory slime. <laughs> Let's use the mixer. Oh, whoa. It should be easy from here on out. Okay, we have a color. The original theme of this slime was pizza. I'm not a huge fan of pizza because it's mid. <gasps> One thing I've noticed about the slime is it's giving very good bubbles. Peach bubble gum is going to be the name of the slime. But we have this lumpy, borderline gross slime. I'm going to put my fingers in it, level it all out, and I do little back and forth motions. It's like creating my own little zen garden. You can't tell me that's not way prettier than it was a second ago. Let's go to Charmville and pick out all of my peach bubblegum charms. It's my favorite place in the world. It's Charmville. This is where we have the fruit sprinkles, peach sprinkles. Oh, they have other peaches. We have two different kinds of peach charms. How did I not know that? These ones are called cute peach charms, so these ones are obviously the ugly peach charms. So I'm gonna do a little mixture of both of them. So I'm thinking these light pink crumbs are gonna be super cute. And also to counteract that, some white crumbs as well. And I have quite a bit picked out here, so I feel like with that, we're good to go. We're gonna start off with the sprinkles, the classic Peachy Baby peach sprinkle. Time for the crumbs. Oh, that was so much more than I wanted. I'm making the executive decision to change this slime's name from peach bubblegum to peach snow. <laughs> Winter peach, frosted peaches, peaches in the snow, peach winter, iced frozen peaches, peaches, winter sorbet. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Let's add our ugly peaches and our cute peaches. These are the ugly ones, apparently. I don't think they're ugly at all, actually. I think they're very cute. Now that we have all of our charms and sprinkles, it just needs one more thing, glitter. I gotta use my hand as a little salt shaker. It's so pretty, it looks like winter time and peaches. I swear, glitter fixes absolutely everything and it made this slime beautiful. This is a win and I'm very proud of myself, but I'm not putting it back on that shelf because it is way too heavy to pick up. Let's go grab the next slime. I picked this one because it says, do not touch please. That's exciting, let's touch it. This is a beautiful slime. It's definitely giving me galaxy themes, but I feel like if I just do another space slime, it's just another space slime. So this, <laughs> this is the scent that I picked out. It is strawberry frost because this slime is giving me mild blueberry hints and I want this to be a fruit space crossover. I only wanna add the slightest bit of this because it's a clear slime. So if you add too much scent oil to it, it will change the color of the slime. And I'm going to very carefully get it all over my hands so I smell like berry for days. Yeah, that's beautiful. Inside of this bin of slime, I'm about to create an entire city of fruit themed, space themed things. So we have a lot to go get from Charmville right now. So let's go get started. We need fruits that look like planets. Round, planet, the same thing, but in yellow. Banana planet, oh, absolutely, we'll need oranges. Blueberries, cherries. Now it's time to go get the space theme part. So we're gonna need, obviously, the moon. Cute little stars. <gasps> a rocket ship. We have a couple of different astronauts to choose from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of each of them. These astronauts are obviously visiting from Charmville to go check out the uh, fruit space galaxy as tourists. We still need the citizens. So that's a pretty good question. Who lives in the fruit galaxy? I think this calls for adorable tiny animals, Mr. Bear, one singular elephant, two pandas, and a bunch of blue axolotls. I'm gonna collect all of these charms I just picked out and it's time to add them into our slime. So we have our planets, the lemon planet, the lime planet, the moon, these cute little stars, the oranges. These can either be asteroids or tiny planets. That's really up to your interpretation. One of my favorite charms that we have at Peachy Babies, jelly stars. Gonna add a bunch of these. 
We have our blueberries. I'm not sure exactly what the blueberries are gonna be, but just to add more fruit essence to it, I guess. Banana Planet, don't forget about him. Our last bit of fruit themed stuff are our little cherries. These are our little shooting stars because the little tail behind the cherry is like the little shooting star tail. Very cute. I thought about that myself. It's so adorable. All of our astronaut charms. We have bunny astronaut. We have bear astronaut. We have unicorn astronaut. They are all here to visit Cosmic Fruitopia. But you may be asking yourself, who lives in Cosmic Fruitopia? I'll tell you, it is two pandas. <laughs> One teddy bear and a single elephant, born and raised. And who is the general citizen's blue axolotls? I love the concept of this slime. This, this is objectively ugly. I made this significantly worse. Although I had a lot of fun putting this slime together, objectively, this slime sucks. I can admit that. But you know what slime doesn't suck? Baby Axolotl, an original peachy baby slime. This is one of my favorite peachy baby slimes. It is a classic, a bestseller, and it is just so cute. This is a snow fizz slime that smells absolutely amazing, and it comes with this adorable baby axolotl. I always call mine Michael because we love Michael. We restock every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at peachybabies.com. So if you would like to get your own baby axolotl, make sure to set your alarms. Let's go grab our third and final graveyard slime. Here is our next slime. It is just a giant green snow fizz. And this is very confusing to me because when I first started doing this series, I knew exactly what every graveyard slime was. And now I grab a slime off the graveyard. I have no idea where this came from. Is this yours? Did you, did you make it? Christian doesn't even know where this came from. A snow fizz in perfectly good condition. Don't have much to change about the texture. Obviously the theming, horrible. Zero theme going on here. This is the most basic green slime you've ever seen. So because my last storyline slime was such a horrible fail, I'm going to commit myself to making this one a storyline slime with a nice, beautiful green field, maybe a farm. I don't wanna think past that. Let's just go with the farm. Every good green farm deserves a beautiful lake. And I love mixing together multiple graveyard slimes. So for this section right here, I'm gonna add this beautiful blue water-like graveyard slime. Now I cannot really fathom why this would be in the graveyard because it is so gorgeous. It's literally exactly like that last slime that I may have ruined depending on what your perception is, but it is just lighter and looks like water. So it is perfect for this. Let me remove a big chunk of this so I can fit the water in. So just imagine this is the beautiful green plains up on a cliff. The cliff juts down into the beautiful, sparkly, light blue water below. I can already tell this is gonna be so much better than the last one. You guys remember when I made the beach one? That one was beautiful. That is what we're going for here. Something that gorgeous with a nice storyline. I had penguins surfing on the back of like fish or something. I don't know, but it was very creative. All right, here's our beautiful setting. Field into beautiful, adorable river. But it's time for us to get the creatures that are gonna live here. I'm gonna grab our classic peachy baby cow. I'm gonna grab a whole baggie of these guys. And then I definitely want there to be sheep here too as well. But all I could find is these blue guys. If you guys don't tell anyone these aren't sheep, I won't tell anyone these aren't sheep. And they look honestly quite a lot like sheep. So we're gonna go with these. We also want the river to be full of animals, turtles, some of these frogs, one singular duck, and some of these adorable green fish. This is gonna be so much better than the last one. Let's go put it together. So we got these adorable little green fish. Stick them in there a little bit so it looks like they're actually swimming inside the water where they belong. I love these little frogs because it kind of sometimes you get lucky and you get one that's like kind of looking opposite directions, which I love. So we're gonna pick out three of them. Hopefully these three are cute. Two turtles. One of them is gonna be hanging out in the water and one of them is gonna be hanging out here on shore. We've of course got our singular duck, which I think adds a lot to this. Sheep and our cows, but I am gonna spread them out. Time to add a couple sheep. Don't add, wanna add too many. So we've got a lot of cows going on here, obviously, but they need a place to live. And look at how adorable this little clay barn is. So it's gonna live here in the corner. I'm really happy with that. I feel like that is an adorable field of a lot of cows and a couple sheep things. I would say, I think I fixed this slime, 10 out of 10. We had two wins and one fail, and I feel like that's a pretty good average, if I'm honest. This slime, in my opinion, was so beautiful, it made up for the last one. If this video gets six, thousand likes I will do another fixing graveyard slimes video I hope you guys loved watching this video and I will see you next week